Hi there, it's Jenna from ScribblingGrace.com. Today I'm doing a Bible journaling with me video on Proverbs 16, verse 24, where it says, Kind words are like honey, sweet to the soul and healthy for the body. In the CSB version here in this Bible that I'm using, it says, Pleasant words are honeycomb, sweet to the taste and healthy to the body. So either way, I love this verse, and um, I'm going to be painting some honeycomb onto this page. Um, it's funny because I did this page months ago, um, but now I'm seeing all of these honeycomb pages pop up on my Instagram feed and my Facebook feed, and I just think that's great. So this may not be the most unique uh, use of this verse, but it's a fun one, and I hope that you enjoy it. So I made a little printable um, of this honeycomb layout, and I'm not going to be using it directly like I have on my printable, but I'm going to be using it as a guide to create a honeycomb um, layout on my page as I want it to look. So um, you can get this free printable on my website at scribblinggrace.com slash honeycomb, and you can also find all of the links to all of the supplies that I'm using um, in that blog post as well. So, um, this little printable, really simple, just a bunch of hexagons <laughs> in a layout, um, and it just helps me so that I don't have to freehand the hexagons. I can just use it, uh, trace it type of thing. So, I just picked out some yellow colors from my Kiritake Ganze Tambi watercolor set. I actually picked out three yellows and one yellowy orange color. Um, the great thing about that Kiritake uh, watercolor set is that there's so many colors that are already pre-mixed so you don't have to worry about mixing different shades and things like that. So um, really simple page here. All I'm doing is I'm taking a small flat paintbrush. This is a quarter inch I believe um, flat paintbrush and I'm just painting in some of those hexagons. As you can see the Bible page is thin enough that you can see the outline of that printable underneath so I don't have to trace it onto the page beforehand or anything. Um, which makes this really quick and easy. And all I'm doing is I'm just going color by color and just filling in those hexagon shapes. I like using the flat paintbrush for this because it helps give me those really sharp edges, but you could totally use a round paintbrush as well, um, whatever your preference is. I'm also not focusing too much on the amount of water that I'm using. I kind of want there to be different shades, so sometimes I'll use more water and sometimes I'll use less. That'll give me lighter hexagons and darker hexagons as well, even with that same shade of yellow. So it's going to look really cool with all different four yellowy colors and different um, intensities. It looks really nice. So I also am just kind of um, trying to space them out. Each color is a little bit spaced out from the next so that they're not all um, bunches in one area, if that makes sense. And I'm just kind of going around filling in those hexagons as I see fit. I want to leave some spaces where there's no hexagons at all, so it kind of looks like the honeycomb was picked out or something, you know? <laughs> so it's not like this perfect little shape, but um, you could definitely do this in any way that you want. Some other fun things that you can do, you could totally do this with um, colored pencils or markers or stamps or whatever is your favorite medium of choice. You can also um, outline the hexagons either beforehand with a waterproof pen like a Micron or the Tombow Food No Suke pen, or you can outline them afterwards, um, outline maybe just part of the hex each hexagon it would look really cool as well. I've seen so many amazing things um, with this same honeycomb idea on Instagram and things like that. So just search Babel journaling, you can find a bunch of really um, beautiful posts. So again, I'm just going to continue painting in all these little hexagons wherever I want them. Um, this is not a very technique heavy Bible Dream With Me tutorial video. It is just a fun one and a great one for beginners. Um, and remember you can get the little printable to make this super duper easy at scribblinggrace.com slash honeycomb. Um, and yeah, um, so I'm just going to continue painting and moving my printable where I want it because all of those hexagons are in nice straight rows. It makes it really easy to move that printable around um, and still create really nice even uh, hexagons here. <laughs> so.
A couple other things to note is that this is the illustrated Bible that I'm using here. So it has four inch wide margins and that spiral. Um, this Bible is by Illustrated Faith and Dayspring. This is the older version and they now have a newer version out. I do have a review on this Bible um, that I did when it first came out here on YouTube and on my blog. And I'll put those links in the blog post that goes along with this video and in the description below. Um, so be sure to check that out if you're more if you're interested. Um, I will say that my opinion on this Bible has changed just slightly. Um, I don't love it as much as I thought I would, um, just because watercolors tend to react a little bit differently on this paper than in other journaling Bibles. And I find that this is my only journaling Bible that I do sometimes have some bleed through without prepping the page. And I do not prep my pages when I'm using watercolor. So I didn't prep my page um, for this one either. And I didn't have any bleed through, um, but uh, this Bible does sometimes have a little bit of bleed through with watercolors. So that's just something to keep in mind. You have to prep your page. Um, this Bible is also pretty darn pricey, so I personally would prefer, say, an interleaved Bible, um, which is a lot cheaper, and you have the full blank pages to work with. So that's just something to keep in mind. But if you love the spiral, if you're really into scrapbook-style Bible journaling, this is a really awesome Bible um, and worth looking into. So now I'm going to go ahead and do my lettering. So I am writing out, kind words are like honey, sweet to the soul, and healthy for the body. And I'm going to do a mix of lettering styles. I want to emphasize honey, soul, and body. And so I'll do um, a nice big cursive uh, calligraphy for those words. And then the rest of the words, I'm just going to kind of keep a simple capital, sort of sans serif style lettering. Um, so I'm just using a pencil here to write my verse out first to make sure that I'm going to like the layout and that I don't have any spelling mistakes. And then I'm going to go ahead and use my Tombow Funosuke brush pen. So the brush pen has a flexible tip. So if you apply very little pressure to the tip of the pen, you'll get a nice thin line like I'm getting right now. Um, when you apply pressure to the tip, then you get thicker lines. So this allows you to create uh, calligraphy and it also allows you to create a variety of letters, um, lettering styles. So I do have tutorials on doing brush pen calligraphy and 10 easy uh, hand lettering styles with a little cheat sheet and all that fun stuff. So I'll put those links to all those helpful lettering posts in this blog post that goes on with this video at scribblinggrace.com slash honeycomb. Um, so be sure to go and check that out. So um, to do my lettering here, I kept it simple at first where I just did use the tip of my pen to write out um, the bulk of my verse. And then again, I emphasized honey, soul, and body by doing the brush calligraphy. Um, but I felt like it didn't stand out enough on my busy background. So I decided to go back over it and I just applied more pressure to my brush the second time um, to create a thicker, whiter lettering. And then I also went over my calligraphy a uh, second time to those down strokes. So anytime my brush pen was going downward, I just applied a little bit more pressure, um, thickening up those down strokes as well. So um, just a little tip if you're new to lettering and uh, you don't like it the first time, you can always go back over it and try to change things up. And all in all, I really like how it ended up turning out. And that's about it for my page. So this page is a really simple one, but fun, uh, great for beginners and advanced Bible journalers alike. So um, the printable makes it so simple and straightforward to do. So I, I would encourage you to head on over to that blog post to pick up that free printable. Um, I'll link it again in the description below or it's at scribblinggrace.com slash uh, honeycomb. <laughs> so, um, yeah, again, there's so many different ways that you can change this page up as well. I did end up adding some splatter to my page by taking a flat paintbrush and just taking those same yellow colors and a little bit of black watercolor as well and just uh, splattering it all over my page. And I felt like it did kind of end up finishing the page off a little bit, but unfortunately I didn't catch that part on the video. Um, but yeah, I would encourage you to have fun with it, change it up how you see fit. Um, 
I this page did take me quite a long time so um, it's just a little bit a lot of detail so it took me about 40 minutes which is a little bit more than I normally spend on a Bible journaling page but I did split this up into three days as well with the little baby it's hard to get some pages done sometimes um, but all in all it was a really great time spent in the word and if you caught that backside, there's very there was no bleed through on this page, and I did not prep it. So um, that's that. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. All right. Have a great day. God bless.